Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 393. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 387 to 393. Hey, in this trick right here, we have a bunch of words in cells and all we want to do is hack off the last two words. So here we want to hack off is blue. Here we want to hack off and hungry. Now, I posted this question at the Mr. Excel message board. There is the post. These two guys gave a great solution, and uh, very similar. And then uh, this guy right here posted a completely different solution. This is what is so incredible at this website. Uh, the solution here, since we want the last two words to hack them off, uh, is we're going to find the this space right here or this space right here and insert a ridiculous character. And then we'll use the find function to find it. That'll give us the position. And then we use the left to take that many. Whereas the solution uh, uh, here is we're going to find the last two words, or and hungry, find these two, and then use substitute to get rid of them. So you ready? Let's do both methods. We'll start with this one. We're going to do this in chunks because this is a pretty wild formula. First thing is, when you do anything like this, you got to recognize a pattern. Now, the pattern is, oh yeah, there's some single spaces. Uh, separating each word. So if we could somehow find uh, the this space right here or this space right here, that would help us insert a character. But before we do that, the very first thing we got to do is find out how many spaces there are. So let's do that part of the function. Len just tells us how, lo how long that is. It'll tell us exactly how many characters there are there. If we can take the length of all of those and somehow subtract the length without the spaces, that would tell us how many spaces. So what we're going to do is minus len again, but we're going to use this substitute inside of the len. Now the substitute says, hey, give me the text. There's the text. The old text we want to find and substitute is double quote space, double quote, hey, find the blank. Comma. The new text we want to substitute in wherever the, it finds a blank is double quote, double quote, with no space. That means a blank. Close parentheses. So this substitute part right here will actually give us that whole text string without any spaces. You see that right there? I hit F9. I'm going to Control Z to undo that. So now the lane will, will count how many there are there without spaces, how many there are with spaces. The difference will tell us how many spaces. Now, that's not going to help. What's going to help is if we can get to that one right there. Well, if we subtract one space, then that will tell us the, uh, the actual space we want to insert a character. So I'm going to hit F2 uh, in the active cell. I took type minus 1. Control Enter to repopulate. So now we got exactly what we want here. The second space is where we want to insert that character. Here, the fourth one, one, two, three, four. All right, so I'm going to hit F2 in the active cell at the top. I want to insert a character right there. This LEN, in essence, is going to tell us which one of the spaces we want to insert a character. Now, there's no such thing as an insert function, so we can't use that. But there is a substitute function, and it'll allow us to specify which occurrence of a particular character, in our case, space, we want to substitute. So we're going to use substitute. The text we're going to look at and substitute, find something substitute is going to be that cell right there, comma. The old text is going to be our spaces, comma. The new text. Now the new text you want to um, slap in here is just a marker for us so the find can find it and count how many char characters in it is. So this new text has to be something ridiculous uh, like, um, uh, two um, exponents or z at sign z or whatever you might be that's never going to uh, occur in a word. I'm going to put qqq um, and then at symbol. That is the text. That's the marker and it's ridiculous. It's not going to occur in a word. But for us it'll be the marker that will tell us uh, where it is we want to uh, go from the left and extract that text, because really what we want is from the left. Okay, so 
that is the new text. The instance is that whole land land substitute. So now when I close parentheses on that and control enter, what do we get? See, we get something ridiculous, but now we can use the find function to find that little ridiculous thing. It'll tell us something like here it'll be the eighth character. Well, we can then use the left function. We'll subtract one from the eight that we get to get seven. And the left will say, hey, take the left seven. So I'm going to highlight this whole range in F2. So now we need to do the find. And we're going to use the same ridiculous little thing right here. We're just going to tell the find to find it now. Find uh, what? what is the text you want to find? Control V, comma, within what text? That's that whole thing. Uh, we don't need the last argument start number. Close parentheses and then Control Enter. Boom! So now we found the se uh, the position of the second uh, space right here. I'm sorry, the uh, from the right the second space. So boop boop. That is the uh, position 16. But from that, since we only want to extract from there all the way to D for cold, we need to subtract one. So F2 minus one, oh, notice I hit F2 and I immediately started typing blindly because F2 always puts your cursor at the end. So minus 1. That's it. That's the number that the left can use. So now we can hit F2 and use left here. Left of this right here, comma, and that's the number of characters. And we can just come to the end. Control Enter. So now we have uh, a formula that will handle variable length. So if I hit another space and then uh, blue red, now this formula updates and it only hacks off the last two words. Now let's look at this next uh, formula here. And for this formula, uh, whereas this one inserted a character right there and then we found it and used the left function, this one is going to actually find the last two words, extract them, and then use the substitute function to replace those last two words with a blank. We're going to start off with substitute. And we're going to say, please look in this text, of course, comma, and find those blanks. Uh, I'm sorry, a blank. Uh, we want to find those single spaces, so double quote, space, double quote, comma, and the new text, we're going to put a hundred spaces. So we're going to find a space and put a hundred spaces. What in the world is that going to do? We'll see in just a moment. First, we're going to use the repeat. We're not going to type out the hundred spaces. So text, double quote space double quote that means space comma and then I want to repeat it how many times a hundred close parentheses and close parentheses all this does is it finds the single spaces and puts a hundred spaces now you're saying what in the world if you scroll over you can see it did exactly that but watch this. How long is the longest word in the English language? It's like 30 characters right so if we have inserted a hundred characters between each word, even if this is 30 characters and this is 30 characters, we can now use the right function and say take the right 200. And it will always go, since this could be uh, th a maximum of 30, this is 100, this could be maximum of 30, by saying right 200, it'll definitely find somewhere in here the position and extract it. So we've got blue and red. So let's see how we do that part of it. F2. Actually, let's double click. Uh, we didn't need to double click and send it down, but F2. And now we're going to use the right and right of that text, comma, and the number of characters is 200, close parentheses. Now I'm going to control enter because I have all the cells highlighted. And now let's go look. Did it get the last two? It absolutely did. But now there's a bunch of junk there, right? But it got the last two words. That's easy enough to fix. I hit F2 the trim function. Now the trim function is not for haircuts or losing weight. It gets rid of all spaces except for single spaces between words. Is that cool? I'm going to put a close parenthesis, control enter. Boom. We have extracted the last two words. Now, 
if we're going to replace you substitute and replace the last two words and hungry is fantastic we also need to find that space right there so I'm going to hit F2 and just join a space with that double quote space double quote ampersand joins those together close parentheses now we have exactly the thing we want the substitute to find and replace with a blank so I hit F2 come up here and do substitute substitute I'm looking here that's the whole text, comma, and the old text to find is that whole thing right there. Click at the end. It's all very much safer to click up here, but I guess for the video, I'll click right here. Whoop. Hopefully, I don't wreck it. All right, so there, now it's waiting. I have to put a comma and the new text. This whole thing is going to be replaced with double quote, double quote. No space there. That's a blank. Close parentheses. That's it. Control Enter. And just like that, we have extracted everything except for the last two words. Now let's try this. Let's come down here. The dog is red and fun and rad. And sure enough, that, um, that picks that up. If we come here and remove one, right, including that space, then now it'll remove the is blue, and this will be just dog. All right, uh, totally amazing MV Tomlinson, WS Jackman, and Peter SSS at the Mr. Excel message board. If you want to have some fun, you have some extra time, go hang out there. All right, we'll see you next trick.